Hello, about 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, I made this. This is ARC. It was the last issue of a magazine that I edited and interviewed people for for 10 years. Ran from 1980 to 1990. This is the last issue. It's really thick. With lots and lots of pages. And really it was the culmination of 10 years of work. I had all these interviews, all these uh, exclusive pieces of artwork and portfolios by a large number of people. I thought I'd put them all together in one book uh, as a big sort of send up. The last hurrah, if you like. So I've got everybody. I actually arranged it all by... Um, the date of birth of each of the contributors. So the oldest one was Will Eisner. So he went first, then Jack Kirby, Dan Spiegel, Gil Kane, Gene Colan, Alex Toth, Leo Baxendale, Jose Munoz, Brian Bollon, Francois Bouc, Dave Simon Gerrard, Scott Hampton, Brendan McCarthy, the Shock of the New panel, which was with uh, John J. Muth, Kent Williams, George Pratt, Scott Hampton, Bill Sienkiewicz, John J. Muth, Ed Pinsent, George Pratt, Shane O'Dwyer, Gary and Warren Police, Carol Swain, and then the last few things. Okay, so to give you an idea of what this was like, um, this was for Will Eisner. Will sent me some, uh, some of his pencils some of his work that I put in there. That was really how I worked on this, is that I would go and visit people or fax them or meet them at conventions. In this case, I visited Jack Kirby and his wife Roz in, at their home in just outside Los Angeles. And I'd meet, talk, you know, you'd see it. Every, the whole thing was transcribed here. Uh, and then I would... Um, do research and find lots of great artwork and the artists themselves would send me the artwork. Uh, Jack sent me this, which was amazing. It was up on his wall when I went to visit him. Uh, Dan Spiegel, uh, Gil Kane, he was great. He, him and his wife, they, they, they treated me to dinner. They were very, very nice. And um, I looked hungry, so they uh, so they they took me out to dinner, and he sent me all these sort of breakdowns that he that he had done for his uh, latest work, and that was great. Gene Colan met him and uh, his wife at uh, the San Diego Comic Convention, and uh, uh, I, I knew it was Gene Colan when I. When I met him, because of the way that his his clothes hung on him, he has a very particular way of uh, of drawing clothes and uh, drape the way clothes drape on the figures. So I could tell it was him straight away, and uh, it was great. And we we went went to his room in at the hotel in San Diego, and basically uh, just talked. It just got darker and darker uh, as the as the sun fell, and uh, yeah, and so in the end, it just ended up with the three of us just talking in the dark. <laughs> it was great. This is Alex Toth, great fan of Alex Toth. Uh, um, I actually own the original artwork for for this, which I bought at San Diego Comic Convention. But uh, yeah, so. This was uh, great fun. The, the Toth is the biggest one, the biggest, the longest uh, interview that, that I have in the book. And uh, uh, Toth actually sent me sketches to include. In, uh, Leo Baxendale, I went to visit him in, in Stroud. Yeah, these were all like little adventures for me. I would go um, first time in a car, got in the, my my new old second-hand car, then I would go travel around the country to, to meet people. Jose Munoz, he was great. I love uh, Alex Sinner. 
amazing work. And uh, uh, Brian Bolland as well. Brian, who's uh, so great, giving me, uh, sending me pencils. Uh, Francois Bouc, I met him in Maidstone with Phil Elliott. And we had a, a, a lovely afternoon chatting. And it goes on, Dave Simon Gerhard. And I, when I went to San Diego Comic Convention, I was very lucky to meet uh, Scott Hampton and John J. Muth, George Pratt, Brendan McCarthy. Ah, brilliant. And Brendan, of course, did the, did the cover. He painted this. Uh, it's a wraparound cover. And uh, wow, that's incredible. Regurgitate the illness. Uh, yeah, so uh, this was a, a panel, The Shock of the New. That's actually me in the cowboy hat, if you, if you can see that. So that was a panel that I did. And we had John J. Muth. Who's, and these were all um, very young at the time, just breaking into comics. They were bringing a new aesthetic um, as Dave McKean and Bill Sienkiewicz had also brought into comics uh, and also in the UK we've got people like uh, the fast fiction people who I was all, always interviewing and including in the, in the magazine this is Ed Pinsent and uh, who else do we this is George Pratt who had just done Enemy Ace Idil Very kind of them to send me materials to, to reproduce. This is Shane O'Dwyer with, with whom I made uh, a few comics. They're great fun. I should reprint those. Profane, which is a character I created and Shane did his own version. Beautiful People, which uh, when it was published the publisher printed the pages in the wrong order so it was difficult enough to, <laughs> to follow the story as it was <laughs> without making it more difficult. Uh, Gary and Warren Police who are doing uh, uh, Velocity which I was following at the time and, uh, and they went on to, to great things. Carol Swain another great creator and then that's it. So then we've, uh, we've got reviews, pages of reviews, and uh, and Phil Phil Elliott sent me a tell from Gimbley, which uh, uh, actually includes me. There's me here with Gimbley and Jatinda and Steve and Nick and Paul Chakra and everybody else. Yeah, and that was based on. Uh, true experiences of Phil coming to visit Coventry. All right, all right. So that's great. There's lots of stuff in this. So copies of this are are still available. I've got another box in the shed. So you can buy this from me from my web store. I've also found some copies of the cover that's flat, which I can send along. Uh, those are available. And I also have copies, a few copies left of, this is issue 33, and I've got a few copies left of issue 32 as well. So, enjoy your comics. Bye-bye.